Hey, what's up YouTube, Houston here. Look, if you have a thin credit file, or you're just starting out building your credit, or you don't have any credit, and, or you just may have bad credit, I'm going to show you some of the best places that you possibly can get approved for a loan, okay? Now, in terms of these here lenders, like they're working with people even if you don't have a social. So if you like a DACA, a resident or whatever here in the U.S., then these lenders are out there wanting to work with you. And the first one, stilts. And this is for loans, okay? Stilt loans. All right. Now, here's the thing about it with stilt loans that you do need to know. Um, like I said, it's no social. So you don't have to have a social to uh, actually work with them um, or a credit file. They even work with people that may have a thin credit file or challenging credit. All right. So the thing about it uh, with Stilt. They're only operating in 16 states, so they don't operate in all 50 states, okay? And so what I'll do, I'll put a list of the states they actually work with, all right? Now, that being said, uh, what they want to do, and because they don't go off of your credit, they actually go off of your employment status, okay? Your education level, your um, residence, you know, how long you been at a place. So even though you may have challenging credit, but you have good employment status, they may be one of the lenders that's willing to work with you. Okay. Now their loans, their loans go from a thousand, excuse me, let me get a better marker. Their loans go from a thousand up to 35,000. All right. So from a thousand up to 35,000, uh, and again, hey, that's not bad when you are uh, undocumented or you uh, lost your job or something like that and you're trying to find a lender that's willing to work with you, uh, this may be one of those lenders. Another lender you want to check out is Opportune. Now, many of you all hear me talk about Opportune, all right? Now, here's the interesting thing about Opportune uh, because it ain't about Again, it's not about the credit score. So their loans go anywhere from 300 up to six, and then it goes from 300 up to 12, excuse me, 600 up to 12. Now, when you first um, make an agreement with Opportune, they will start you at the 300 to 6,000. But your second go around, if you need another loan from them, they go from 600 up to 12,000. All right, now, here's the thing about it no credit check, no income verification. Your, uh, the minimum that Opportune wants you to be making is about $500. Okay, so that means that you may be on welfare, you may be on Social Security benefits, okay, uh, but at the same time, if you're making at least $500, Opportune, again, it's another one of those companies don't operate in all 50 states, uh, but it does give you an opportunity to try to get funding, especially if you uh, again, you don't have a social or you have a thin credit file and you're trying to look for somebody to lend you some money, they may be a lender. Granted, it may not be a whole lot of money, but at the same time, they're giving you a chance. Now, the next one is Upstart, okay? Now, here's the interesting thing about Upstart. Your annual income, they want you to be making at least twelve thousand dollars annually so that's what a thousand dollars a month okay so if you're making a thousand dollars a month their loans go from a thousand up to fifty thousand okay now here's the thing about it uh with these lenders that you do have to understand granted they may not pull regular credit bureaus sometimes. Uh, they may pull other different uh, data points, all right? So they may pull Clarity, uh, which is owned by Experian. They may pull Factor Trust, which is owned by uh, TransUnion, or they may pull Data X. okay? So these are the third-party uh, providers. They also may look at your 
Lexus Nexus, okay? All right, but again, for, for many people, like I said, with some of these lenders, they may understand that you don't have a credit file. You know, you do have a job, you have a place of residence, but you just don't have a credit file. Your credit file is so thin that they can't pull it. Uh, especially like with my FICO, with um, Vantage Score. Okay, so with Vantage Score, you can have one account and it will give you a score. But with FICO, you if you have one account, you have to uh, wait at least 60 days. That's the reason I tell people you may want to jumpstart your file with like authorized users okay because with authorized users those are accounts aged accounts that are already database uh, if you want to learn more about authorized users check click the link and schedule one-on-one -on -one consultation so in terms of you having a, a thin credit file there's other things you can do you may can sign up for Experian boost okay that would will report utility bills and things of that nature plus rent all right now again like i said most people are they're missing the boat a lot of people are missing the opportunity to even get qualified for larger loans because they're not even reporting their rent okay or the opportunity to even purchase a house because they don't have rent payment uh reporting on the credit file so you may want to look into that now another uh lender that you want to check out is cash usa now the interesting thing about Cash USA is their data points are not about the credit score. Again, they're about the job, uh, how long you've been at your place of residence. By the way, most of these accounts, you do have to have uh, active email, active phone number, active bank account. Okay? So you just keep that in mind. But with Cash USA, their loans go from 500 up to 10K. All right? Now, as I was saying with Cash USA, the interesting thing about Cash USA is this: is that they may not, uh, they're not like a regular bank. They usually work with a lot of tribal lenders and stuff as well, and that's very important because with the tribal lenders, they're not putting a hard. Most of the time, they don't put a hard pull on your credit file. Okay, they're just looking at uh, do you have enough income to qualify for the loan? Okay. Uh, so most of the time it's none income verified. All right. So that's the thing about it. Uh, again, they want you to have an active bank account. Uh, some of these lenders, they may want to see if you do have deposits going on. All right. So they may not do a job verification, but they may look at your uh, bank account to see if you have income going on. All right. Now, like I said, with tribal lenders, uh, those lenders, type of lenders, like say that you go to the casino, uh, you lose your money at the casino. Well, the casino takes that money and they loan it out, all right? So they're making money off of your money, right? Uh, since they already took it anyway. Uh, but at the same time, uh, especially for people that may have a low credit score or no credit file, uh, tribal lenders probably are probably are your best bet in terms of trying to get funding not only cash usa then you have another lender i uh talk about in my videos is up Roba. okay with up Roba, tribal lender offers you five thousand all right then you have uh andy link okay and you have a uh, fun joy five thousand all right so and like I said, with these here lenders, it's okay if you don't have a, uh, a strong credit file or you have bad credit. It's okay that you don't have a, a social for some of these lenders, all right? It's okay that you don't have that. Uh, the main thing is being able to know that you have an active bank account, email, you have deposits going on so they can see to make sure you are who you are in terms of saying that, hey, I'm making X amount of money. I do have direct deposit. You know, they want to see that. What type of active bank account you have, all right? Now, if you have any other questions about personal credit funding, business credit funding, or removing negative items off of your credit report, click the link in the description to schedule one-on-one -on -one consultation. Thank you.